I right, for real, this is my last video of the night. I'm serious. Um, I'm doing this Big Shine Hall of Fame album review. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people think that Big Shine is weak because he's weird, he's nerdy, he's a he's a blunt, honest rapper. But that's what makes him great. I mean, Big Sean, I mean, a lot of people would say I'm overrating him because I'm from Detroit. That's not it. I like Big Sean way before I figured out he was from the D. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of niggas used to talk about him. I'm like, who the fuck is Big Sean? I used to see Big Sean, like, around the West Side sometimes, but I didn't even know that was that nigga. You know, I thought he was just a regular Detroit nigga that's walking down the street and shit like that. But fuck it. Hall of Fame album review. The first track, nothing is stopping you. I got nothing bad to say about this record. It's a very strong record. Big Sean gets very, uh, he has a lot of substance in this album, which was hard to find on his last record. But this is a stronger album. I give this song a 4.5. Pretty strong. Fire. Hardcore. Well, not really, but... This shit is dope. I give it a four. I love fire. It's a dope record. Ten to ten and ten again and ten. Well, ten to ten. This record is hype. This record is dope. I give it a four point five. It's very creative. He's very funny. This is what makes Big Sean creative. You know, he's very creative, dope rapper. Toyota Music. I give that shit a four. Well, actually, I give it a 4.5. This record is dope. I like this song. It's cool. You Don't Know, I give it a 4. It's pretty good. It's very fun. It's a very fun record. Um, Beware. I love this record. 4.5. I've been in situations like that before. So, it's a very... I like... This, it features Lil Wayne and Gene Aiko. I love Gene Aiko, man. She makes good music. She has a sexy voice. She's a beautiful girl. I mean, what more could you ask for? Record labels need to need to pay homage. Um, there's nothing more I can really say about this shit. I mean, it's, when Big Sean and Gene Aiko make music, it's dope. First chain. Featuring Big Sean, featuring Big Sean, Nas, and Kate Cuddy. This record's great. I give it a 4.5. This sounds like some shit that could have been on College Dropout or something. And Pat Poos had the nerve to diss Big Sean over this beat and come with that garbage. Pat Poos, you're done, okay? It's over. Let it go. You're not good at rapping. Take your 1.5 million that you got from Jive and, and kill yourself. First chain is dope. The Nas verse is hard. Kit Cuddy's verse was hard. I mean, nothing more you can say about that shit. 4.5. Mona Lisa. This work is alright. It sounds like Moolah. I'll give it a 3.5. I don't care for this record. Kanye said this is his favorite song, but then again, Kanye takes the music has been way the fuck off lately. Like this is skit. This don't count. Milk. Again, very creative song. Like, Big Sean has a lot of 4.5s on this record because he brings it. Milk is funny. It's hilarious. Juicy J comes on here. Nicki Minaj plays the mother. What more can you say? It's a very good song, and it's a very comical one. Sierra Leone. This shit is straight. I give it a four. You know what I'm saying? Um, this record with Jeezy and Payroll. Um, it's it's time. I don't necessarily like this record. It's straight. I give it a three point five. You know, I don't like Payroll that much. Cause I don't like no boys cash out. No beef. Don't shoot me. <laughs> this record's high, right, you know what I'm saying? It's not bad, but it's not good either. 
World of Blaze. This song, he's talking about the Detroit economy. Much respect. I give it a four. Ashley with Miguel. This record's pretty incredible. I give it a 4.5, even though I like the hook. That's what's the, the driving force. I mean, it's, it's a girl song, but his, his verses, man, they speak to the motherfucking song. 4.5. All figured out. This record's I. Right. It's straight. I give it a four. Moolah remix with two chains, meat meal, and early Mac. Pretty dope. I mean, you know what? What? Is, what the fuck you expect? I give it a four. So about a, a rap, a, a, the same rap record about boasting about the money. Meat Mills versus hard. Big Sean versus dope. Two chains versus retarded. Early Max versus pretty decent. So I give it a four. I love Switch Up with Common. 4.5. Common comes on there and kills the shit. But Big Sean and Common seem like they're going at it. Skill. It's like sparring. This record is cold, man. Cold. Guap. I give it a regular four. This record had 18 records on it. You know, my total was 71. I mean, I like Big Sean's new album, Hall of, I mean, Hall of Fame. I don't think it lived up to the title because Hall of Fame, you got to have a classic record to call an album Hall of Fame. So he made his, you know, he made his shit, his expectations pretty high. Wait. Hold on, man. This rating isn't right. This can't be right. Because 71 and 18, 3.94, something's not right. Hmm. It's kind of weird. Oh, yeah, that's right. That skit. My fault. 71 and the 17. There's a much, that's much better. Alright, I got the real one. Oh, I was like, what the fuck going on here? Like, why is it not working? But then I figured out that skit, so I had to delete the skit from. Alright, I give it an 84%. It's way better than Finally Famous, the album, in my opinion. And I think it's a more structured album this time around. But. Since since it's that, I'll give it an 85 out of 100, out of respect, because it's a really good album. It's worth checking out, 100.